Hey, what's up, tubers? This is Superdale, and today I got another video for you. Now, in this video, I will show you how to add one of the most popular app stores to your Zadu media player. And no, it is not the Google Play. All right. Secondly, you will need your PC, Chromebook, whatever you use on a norm. That way, you can add this application to the Zadu very very easily all right all you have to do is follow the instructions and you will be successful all right so the first thing you're going to do is go to quick settings it's already highlighted so i'm gonna go over here and go to quick settings secondly i'm gonna go up here to network and you see it's already highlighted in blue right here and i'm gonna go down to samba server which is right here guys so follow me to go to Samba server. From here, I'm going to turn on Samba server and turn on allow data to be written. All right. So all I have to do is use my remote control or my keyboard that I have connected to the Zadu and just go to the right side. First thing I'm going to do is turn on Samba server. Second thing I'm going to do is turn on allow data to be written. All right now before we leave from this option i want you to follow this this is windows i'm using a windows pc to install the app toy tv app onto this device so i need you to copy your url down now it's not going to be mine's mine's is 192.168.1.52 yours will be different but I need you to copy this down, all right? I'll give you 10 seconds to copy this down. This is going to be very, very important when we go to the PC, all right? Very, very, very important. Now, once you have that copy down, you can put it back on the home screen like this. And now let's take it over to the PC. So let's go over to the PC, guys. Okay, guys, I am back. Now, you may say, hey, man, this is a little screen of my Zadu. Don't worry about this one right now. All I need you to do is go to apkmirror.com. I will leave this in the description of this video, apkmirror.com. From there, I need you to go over here where it says search. We're going to make this very, very easy. So I'm going to click inside of here, right? And I'm going to put in AppToy tv again a p t o i d e space tv once you add that in all you have to do is hit the enter button all right on your keyboard on your computer all right oops i hit the wrong button sorry about that and right here when we scroll down it gives us a lot of options like 4.3 which is an older model but they got 5.1.2, 5.1.1, 5, all of these right here. I'm going to probably just go with this one. This one seems like it's fairly new, even though it hasn't been updated in a while. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this one right here, 5.1.2. Let's do that now. And right here, you probably caught it that it was orange and then it went to gray. All right, first thing you want to do, I guess they want you to sit back and see what version you're right. You, you about to download. All right, but once you go down a little bit and you come up, it turns orange. All we have to do is click download. All right, and then it go to another page, which is right here. So we're waiting for the download. Up here on my Windows computer, it will give me a notification or what I downloaded. I don't did this a few times, so I should be good, but you will get a notification, all right? Depending on how you have your device set up. And as you see it right here, it's ready to go. So I'm gonna click in here, all right? And right here, guys, I got 5.1.2 is right here. So what I'm going to do, since I have this layout open, what I'm going to do is right click and copy 
and then I'm gonna go over here to my network again your computer might be a little different whatever you do just copy it right click copy it the app toy APK copy it then you want to go over to where it says network and just click on it one time right click over it on the right hand side of the word network which is up here and we're going to type in that URL remember that 192 all right so I'm gonna hit the I'm gonna just hit the backspace backspace. Remember that's the one that leans to the left. Backspace backspace, and I'm gonna put one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot fifty two. Once you put in that URL, guys, right here, all you have to do is what? Press enter, and now you will get this share. Now, this share is coming from the Samba server from your Zidu. All right. It is coming from this. All right. So, this share folder right now is coming from the Zidu. Now, from there, I'm going to click on the share. And now it says storage. We're going to click on the storage. And we have a bunch of folders. For me, I'm going to just make it as easy as possible. You can put it in any of these folders if you want. I'm going to choose download. So I'm going to click the download. And what I'm going to do inside of the download folder, I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste the application inside of the download folder on my Zadu media player. And here it is. It tells you it says Aptoy TV um, 5.1.2. So we are done with this right here we are completely done now we can go back to our zadu which you see the bridge and the mountains right here so let's go there okay guys i got my keyboard here as you see the bridge and the mountain again this is my zadu all right so i'm gonna hit the home button right and what i need to do is go over here to where it says media center all right it's highlighted in blue click in there and you say, Dale, well, where are the folders? I, I need some help. Calm down. Calm down. Use your directional on either your keyboard or your remote control. The left directional. Go down to storage. It's already highlighted, but you have favorite storage, SMB, NFS, and network. We're worried about storage and storage only because remember, it told us storage. So when we click in the storage, all right, let me go back. Sorry about that. But when you go into storage, you should have all of this, right? Remember, we we put the APK inside download folder, all right? So go in the download folder. And what do we see? App Toy TV 5.1.2. So we're going to click on that right now. And AppToy TV right there. Do you want to install this app, this application? It does not require any special access. So all we're going to do is go down here and select install. So highlight it, click it, and it will install on our device. All right. So it says block by uh, play app play protect. Again, if you got a keyboard. Or if you get the 5.0.1, this will not come up. But this is why it's always good to have a keyboard. So you can say install anyway. But the 5.0.1 uh, does not come up with the play protect. From there, guys, as you see, we can go directly in. I can hit done, but I want to open this up and start adding some applications to this device as you see it right there app toy tv we're going to hit okay we're going to allow as you see right there and here it is right here we have a host of applications that we can install on this device but wait we got a search bar we can get very very specific instead of going and trying to find all of these apps hold up we can just go up here where you see the search bar which is at the top left hand corner 
right there all right so now that let's do this let's click in there and let's click allow and what I'm going to do I'm gonna search what analytics that way I can perform a speed test on my device and there it is right there and so I can go over here and click on it and install it so when I click it we are gonna have a security feature because it's uh you know you know they want to make sure you're good while you start you installing some of these applications all right so as you see install unknown apps from a source again this is not Google Play. If this was Google Play, you would not get this, all right? Because it is a mainstream app. But because it's coming from Aptoid, you know, you're going to get this one time. So we can go into settings, and we can just turn this option on, right? Turn it green. Let's go back one. And here it is, install. And it's installing 99%. Let's give it some time. We install about four applications, all right? Very, very simple, but give it up like 30 to 45 seconds, all right? As you see it right there, that's installed. Let's go back and go back up here to the search bar. And again, one of my favorite apps is Explore. As you see, it's right there. Let's install Explore. A file manager application and then go into install from there I'm gonna click install which is at the bottom pretty simple guys this is very very simple you know it beats you know um, going on to another website getting a link and then installing it on the Play Store where it have to reboot and all of that just to get the Play Store. But to each his own. You can do it either way. I'm going to install one, uh, probably a couple more. Let's go with a browser. I'm going to go with Opera. All right. I'm going to just select Opera. And here it is right here. I'm going to go with this one. It's 4.8. And let's install it. You see how quick it is? Pretty steady. Pretty easy. Alright. And then we just hit install. Alright. We wait for it to install onto our Zadu. And you can pretty much find all the mainstream apps on here but if not say you're looking for a particular app that is not on the app store you can use the same scenario and use it send it wireless wirelessly across your network on this device all right so we got opera and let's do one more man let's do one more how about we do what uh send anywhere all right let's do that all right, great application, but let's do send anywhere, which is right here, and there it is right here, send anywhere. Some of y'all use send files to TV. You can use that as well. I'm going to send anywhere, guy, so I'm going to click to install that, and look at that. Look how easy it is. As simple as that. And then I'm going to go down here and select install. And again, guys, when you have a Zadu, please get you a wireless keyboard. Um, you got Logitech's out there. You got the Q9 Mini keyboard with touchpad. The Logitech K400 well, is a keyboard with a touchpad. Logitech K400 Plus. A keyboard with a touchpad it just makes it that much easier all right guys so it's pretty straightforward again you see it hit that and so now i can go hit the home button i can go over here and highlight the apps 
in blue that apps option once i click on there look at that they go my send anywhere they go my opera they go my explorer they go my analytic and you might say well they'll just open up one all right i'll open up the explorer app because this is one of my favorite apps and then i can hit the allow all right and there we have it and one of the best features on here is to go down to wi-fi sharing we can cut that on right here and you see the server disabled and we can always turn that server on and we can use explorer app from our computer from our phone from our chromebook and send files applications movies music pictures on over to this device so it's pretty pretty easy guys i'm glad y'all hung in there with me i just wanted to give you another option that you can use when when and using the Zadu media player it's as simple as that guys this is one of the best android tv boxes on the market because what it's capable of doing if you have any questions please leave them in the comments if you want to get a little bit more information my email is in the description of this video all right thank you guys be safe and i will talk to you on the next one peace guys